Vikings don't have faults, they have clubs. Columbus was the first to come to the east. Vikings don't count, and neither do all the people who were standing on the beaches and waving when he got here. We're not troubled at all, but I think. Well, we're Scandinavians. We're Vikings and we have a lot of blackness in our souls. Of course, most people underestimate the warrior characteristics of the Anglo-Saxon and Norman peoples anyway. It takes a heap of piety to keep a Viking from wanting to go sack a city. I love that Viking era, but also they're a fatalistic people and that dictated their fearlessness in battle and approach to life. Now that I have confirmed that the Vikings have been seeking to trade me, I have asked for permission to speak to the interested teams. The Vikings have denied my request. If a trade does not happen, then I am asking the Vikings to terminate my contract as soon as possible. I wear my Viking helmet because the horns define how sharp my brains are. If you try to rub me the wrong way, I will stick you with both of my horns. Viking women were able to rule kingdoms, divorce husbands, own land, and Vikings were very progressive in terms of the rights of women. It is the north wind that lashes men into Vikings, it is the soft, luscious south wind which lulls them to lotus streams. What is interesting to me about Vikings is that they were failed farmers. The game against the Vikings back in my second year stands out. It was kind of a turnaround for us. It allowed us to make a run at the playoffs for the first time in quite a while. The memories are so many it's hard to pin one down. We're Norwegians. You know, the Vikings. My deadlift was 310 pounds. I mean, I was very, very strong, and I didn't take steroids. I did it all on my own. I spent much of my prison time reading. I must have read over 200 large books, mostly fictional stories about the American pioneers, the Vikings, Mafia, etc. As long as I was engrossed in a book, I was not in prison. Reading was my escape. Denmark, also called Norway, is best known as the original home of the prune Danish as well as the Vikings, who wore hats with horns sticking out of them, and for a very good reason, they were insane. There is a diverse meaning to the lyrics as well. A lot of the stuff I write is from a personal level but is not really anything that I care about if people get or not, so I write a lot of the stuff as metaphors based in Viking mythology and Viking history which is sort of my main interest in life and sort of my main atmosphere in life. The Norse way of speaking, no one really knew what the Vikings sounded like, they were Norsemen. The accent is really a combination of a Scandinavian accent, maybe with a Swedish accent and an old way of speaking. The cast of Vikings is a real team, a true ensemble. It's a mad, eclectic, great bunch. But we support each other and trust each other completely. There are no egos. Everything we talk about is about beating the Packers, the Bears, and the Vikings. Obviously, there are other teams in the league, but if you can dominate and be on top of your division you are always in the playoff hunt. It's time for us to win that thing. I was always interested in myths growing up. So, first I got into some Roman myths, then I was interested in Norse, then Celtic, then I started spreading to all the other mythologies. Real warriors don't show their hearts until an axe cuts open their chests. Even in the sheath the sword must be sharp, so too must the mind and the spirit be within the body. Better to fight and fall than to live without hope. You will reach your destination even though you travel slowly. Life is not a level field. 
life is hills and mountains, lowlands, and ravines. The error is the result of letting fear rule your actions. Better to die with honor than live with shame. Not every cloud which darkens the day brings rain. When truth and fairness are different from what is law, better it is to follow truth and fairness. It is okay that you have made mistakes, life didn't come with instructions. Only a coward waits to be taken like a lamb from the fold or a fox from a trap. Only a coward waits to be taken like a lamb from the fold or a fox from a trap. No one is a total fool if he knows when to hold his tongue. As a candle can light another, so too can greatness of mind be transferred amongst men. To remain in solitude is to deprive oneself of this kindling. A person should not agree today to what he will regret tomorrow. Stand by your own trial and not by what others say. When a real battle starts, you'll always find that there is no bravest man. Where wolf's ears are, wolf's teeth are near. That which has a bad beginning is likely to have a bad ending. Too much ale and a man's heart is laid open for all to see. The brave man shall fight and win, though dull his blade may be. The more folks stand in the way of two hearts that yearn for each other, the hotter the flame of love waxes. There is more honor in accumulating little by little than in reaching for the sky and ending up flat on your face. When men meet foes in fight, a stout heart is better than a sharp sword. Often times it is not numbers that wins the victory, but those who fare forward with the most vigor. The foolish man thinks he will live forever if he keeps away from fighting, but old age won't grant him a truce, even if the spears do. All a people need in order to rise up against tyranny is a leader bold enough to take up the banner. When fear leads the way, the destination is never glorious. Even a silent man will be instantly respected if he tells the truth. To become a man that instantly commands respect, don't be afraid to be criticized or be disliked, don't be afraid to engage conflict and stand up for what is right, honest conflict is always better than dishonest harmony. Don't mess with ale if you are weak. A clear head is good company. Drinking is a dangerous friend. Take care of your speech, it can be catalyst for many needless problems. You never know who could be lending an ear to your ramblings. When men encounter enemies in the fight, a robust heart is better than a sharp sword. Better to fight and fall than to live without hope. Many are brave but do not redden their sword in the chest of another. Fight your enemies in the field, don't burn in your home. No matter how cautiously you live there is no escaping the fatal clutches of old age. So then, better to join the fray and fight proudly for something worth obtaining. A viking never gives up on his revenge. This is who we are. We fight. That is how we win, and that is how we die. No Viking believed he could change his destiny, ordained as it was by the Norns who wove the fates of God and men alike but, for all that, the way in which he lived his life was up to him. The Vikings did not only tear down, they also built up, they adapted to the lands they were grafted into, but also confirmed these lands unto themselves. 
Vikings, it seems, make their own way. When the spring comes, and my blood heats up, I want nothing more than to raid and fight. Warriors don't show their heart until the axe reveals it. Where you recognize evil, speak out against it, and give no truces to your enemies. Never walk away from home ahead of your axe and sword. You can't feel a battle in your bones or foresee a fight. With many who come to power and honor, pride keeps pace with promotion. Better to die with honor than live with shame. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.